This teenager has the gifts of ancient Greece in his hands. He's fashioning a bust of Alexander the Great and is the youngest pupil of a school dedicated to perpetuating the imperiled artistry of antiquity. These traditions mustn't be lost in Greece, says Panayotis Galeos, even though the number of craft workers is declining. The students are acquiring skills needed to maintain the Acropolis, Athens' sacred rock, whose smallest temple, which celebrates triumph for the Battle of Marathon, has just emerged from a 10-year-long restoration program. The idea to see a monument like that free of uh, scaffolding is always a treat. A monument as ancient as the Acropolis needs constant restoration. It needs people working on it all the time, making sure that everything is in place, everything is well stabilized. Marble workers at ancient sites can only expect modest wages. And in an acquisitive age, the number of applicants for this specialist school has dropped by 80% in the past couple of years. I feel a bit sad about the craft skills that they lose their impact in nowadays. I feel proud that I'm one of them that uh, they try to keep this tradition alive. My dream is to work in uh, ancient buildings such as uh, the Parthenon. The nice thing is that that you can build things out of a piece of stone. Just a piece of stone lying in the woods or you can create something that didn't exist before. At the moment, a third of all young Greeks under the age of 24 are out of work. And because so many businesses are closing down, job opportunities are limited. There's a brain drain with the youngest and finest emigrating. But these young marble workers are assured of a future because of Greece's glorious past. The island of Tinos, where the school is located, has always been at the heart of Greece's marble industry, an industry that is withering. Τα νέα παιδιά είναι αισιόδοξα. Πρέπει να είναι αισιόδοξα και αυτό πρέπει να το μεταδίδουμε και εμείς οι δάσκαλοι. Young people are always optimistic and we owe it to them to be optimistic ourselves, says the school's director. There may be a crisis, but we will get through. We are obliged to. While there remain young people motivated by their art instead of money, Greece's treasures are in good hands. Malcolm Brabant, BBC News, Tinos.